everyone, Ember the Vault here. Welcome to a brand new game. Now this is insurmountable. We're gonna go ahead and check it out in just a second here. But before we do, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this so I could go ahead and play it here on the channel. Now you may notice that the continue is highlighted. That's because I started playing the game and for some reason, I just kept fumbling over my words real bad. So I decided to start over. So yes, we're gonna override it. We're gonna do normal. Trust me, I didn't get very far. Normal, lower difficulty, challenging, but doable recommended for beginners. Now I'm not an experienced mountaineer in games or in real life. So I think I'm going to skip the mountaineering part and just stick with the uh, stick with the simple stuff. So I literally made it to the end of this video. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, and the the directions that come up. I was not reading. Anybody else get like a Titanic feel out of that? That opening music. Maybe a little bit of The Lion King. All right. So you cast your gaze over the enormous mountain landscape. You've traveled across the globe seeking out an adventure, but this island is like nothing you've ever seen before. As far as you can tell, it is largely unexplored. The only information you could find were a few rumors about an unknown occupying force. On the way here, you stumbled across abandoned property and lost places. You wonder what happened here, but the secret the island, what the secret is the island is keeping. Sorry. Then you shake your head. It might be nice to have, have some answers, but your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That is why you're here, and that's what drives you. All right. So the way we move is we left click on the next tile. And then, you know, we we tell our person to to go see environment and equipment effects that are influenced by the current mountain the environment and currently active equipment let's go ahead and click this thick air okay warm nights first ascent focused and driven basic values weather is clear hey okay. this is the speed at which your player moves <laughs> So I assume we need to make some choices here. I think this has something on it. Camera control. All right. Move the mouse to look around. Yeah, I've, I've kind of already been doing that. What's with this, though? Is this there like a person here to talk to? Ah, unexpected meeting. A gust of wind catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You fail wildly with your arms, trying to keep your balance. Suddenly, someone grabs your wrist, wrist, <laughs> wrist and pulls you back from the edge. That was close. Just a second later and you would have fallen to your death. You sternly tell yourself that you really have to pay more attention. No need to press your luck when there's danger at every turn. Your knees still weak, you take a look at your rescuer. She is a young woman in a threadbare anorak. There is a anorak? I actually don't know how to say that. There is a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Its soft glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and without saying a word, holds out some provisions for you to take. I accept the gift. You want to give her something in return, so you search through your pack. You finally find something and look up, but the strange woman is gone. A bizarre meeting, but you can't help but be grateful for her. All right, I continue my journey. So, inventory and items. All right, so we can access our inventory by pressing the button on the screen or using the corresponding hotkey. Got that. Um, we can access it when our character is standing still. That makes sense. Certain items are consumed when they are used. Others are equipped to your character and remain active when equipped. Right-click items with the mouse button to use them. Left and hold the left mouse button to drag and drop items into other slots. When you find an item, you have to put it in your inventory or you will lose it when you close your inventory. Got it. Some items can be used multiple times as indicated by the usage bar on the item. If an item currently cannot be used, it is displayed in a darker color. You can view more information about the item by hovering your mouse over the item. This will display the item effects the items effects that's what i was trying to say all right so i suppose we put that there and looks good all right so our goal is the summit so we want to go over there 
Ooh, maybe that was a mistake. I was thinking it might be faster, but now I'm thinking, doesn't it take more energy to summit than it does to go that way? Yeah, we can't get up there. Okay. And we'll go this way. There is a very good reason, though, that I am not a mountaineer. Asthma. Asthma will kill me. It's already killing me. It's working on it. All right. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine, maybe? You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It just might be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for... It says plus zero health, so we're going to do energy. All right. So we got some energy. And I assume that is where we're headed. So... Oh, I see. Ah, boy, yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Uh, maybe the energy we just gained will unfortunately just take us there. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. There's nowhere to go from here. Shit. Okay. Um. Damn. So, let's go up a bit and look around. There's definitely a lot of other places we can go. Maybe we should aim for whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Go a little bit quicker, unfortunately. <laughs> We're using quite a bit of our energy because I am super smart and did not realize I needed to look around a little bit more. But that's okay, it's the first climb, so that's what happens. There you go. I don't want to go there. Okay, so you enter a cave, it is dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Okay, cool. That was good for us. Uh, so I wonder... It's probably not a good idea to sleep here. Um, even if it's, you know, a decent cave, I don't think it's a good idea to sleep there. Not that tired yet? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, shit. Now it's nightfall. So maybe I was wrong. Okay. Under a tarp, you discover a large empty cage. Tufts of brownish fur are stuck between the bars. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, we got to enter the cage. You find a backpack full of provisions in the corner. Sweet. Okay. Well, we got some extra tea. That'll help with our body temperature. And at the same time, we also got to be a badass. All right. So it looks like we're getting kind of cold so maybe oh, maybe we should drink some tea Let's see oh there we go yep yes i want to use the hot tea okay now we want to get up hmm I'm trying to figure out the 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 quickest ways to get to certain things and gonna be honest there's not too many ways all right let's go oh we can use our choose our next skill sweet so there are, okay sleeping is a good way to restore energy there are three ways to do this you can look for a cave symbol on the map and make camp there you can use a tent from your inventory each tent can be used three times you can also sleep without a tent this has a negative effect on your stats and should only be a last resort yeah, I would assume so. So let's go ahead and keep going. This is my last resort. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's maybe get you over there. We're not out of energy quite yet, so... I feel like we can make it over here. All right. So you enter an extensive network of caves towards the rear. You notice an extinguished campfire. Lying in, lying in front of it is a stranger bundled up under a fur blanket. 
Okay, we're going to find a quiet corner to lay down and rest. And I guess we're going to sleep long. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm probably going to die, but let's just see what happens. Okay. Ah, the stranger did not seem to give a flip. Okay, let's go ahead and head here then. Shocked that that stranger didn't have anything to say to me. Oh, terrain types. Okay, there are three different types of terrain, rock, snow, and ice. Each type contains the basic, or consists, excuse me, of a basic standard terrain and additional terrain subtypes. The cost of moving on any type of terrain depends on your character's equipment and skills. Terrain subtypes can involve additional costs or may trigger dangerous events. Ooh, so rock has rubble, grass, nothing special. Snow is a standard one. Uh, snow drifts are a terrain subtype. Can trigger dangerous events. Deep snow require high energy. Ice is a standard terrain that could have glaciers on it. Oh my gosh. Uh, dangerous events or ice labyrinth. Ooh, ice labyrinth. That's pretty cool. Okay. Sweet. Got it. Uh, does that mean that we can't get over there? No, it doesn't. It just means it uses a little extra energy. All right. So the weather can change every morning. You can see the current weather and the forecast for the next day at the lower left of the screen. There are three different types of weather, clear, cold, stormy. OK, that would make sense. We would need different things for each type of weather. All right. So you catch a scent on the wind, burning wood. You follow your nose and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patched dingy looking tent. Next to the tent, the glowing embers of a campfire emit a thin plume of smoke. You look around, not a soul for miles. Okay, we're definitely going to call out. You call out, but no response. You call again. Suddenly, you hear heavy breathing. A local mountaineer with a dead mountain hair slung over his shoulder makes his way toward you. He gives you a friendly nod. Without a word, he stokes the campfire and skins the hair. In no time, the meat is roasting nicely over a spit on the fire, giving off a mouth-watering aroma. The stranger gestures for you to join him, and you gratefully accept his offer. You could use some refreshment right about now. Hey, that actually didn't turn out too bad. I was afraid we were going to find a dead body. All right, let's go ahead and head up here. All right, so you climb to a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs on the floor looks awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy, and your mouth starts to water. Oh, boy. I am going to continue my journey. I don't think we should mess with that. Um, that is someone else's stuff. So let's see. Yeah, let's go there first and then we'll head over there. Although we are getting awfully close to where we actually want to go. But I feel like it might be worth visiting all those other little routes. All right. So once your experience reaches a certain threshold, you can level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll look at that later. Let's go here first. What is this? All right. Northern Lights. What a sight. All right. So we can see the Northern Lights from here. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and click level up. So warm thoughts. Whenever I use a consumable item, you get some body temperature. All right, so we gain four body temperature, controlled breathing, oxygen. Okay, oxygen won't be a big deal. Um, active until the end of the mission. That kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and let's see. I'm looking at down below. The thing that we really seem to need is energy. So let's use that. Well, wait a minute. What did it say? Limited time effect. Active for 24 hours. Okay. Ah, boy. Our oxygen is fine. Our warmth is fine. I guess we're using this. I... Okay. We're using it. We're using it. All right. So that means I want to get over there. Oh, it's red. Does that mean we're not going to make it over there? I think that means we don't have enough energy. Okay. You encounter a slope filled with rubble. Even your first step, wait, even your very first step onto it sets off a mini lion slide with rocks rolling out from under your feet down the mountain. Um, let's keep going. Concentrating hard, you carefully balance across the rubble. With each step, you deliberately find one larger stone to place your feet on, leaning as much weight as you can onto that foot. You know that this is the only way to prevent rubble from sliding out from under you and your best chance to make it to the other side unharmed. 
Well, you actually made it. So that is pretty impressive. I think what we'll do. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to go over here now. No, 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 no. I need to get rid of. That's right. Here we go. OK, that's how we do it. I couldn't remember how I got rid of it. OK. Here we go. We are getting close to nighttime, so it kind of makes sense that she's getting tired. So I guess there's probably not a way to hit all of the fun stuff. You kind of have to choose, which isn't too bad. You know, choices are a thing you have to make sometimes. Let's go ahead and go to the dry cave. You enter a cave just a few steps. Oh, after just a few steps, you feel icy wind on your face. It seems to be coming from inside of the cave. Let's follow it. Countless stalactites hanging from the ceiling, blocking your path as you deftly search for gaps between the enormous rock formations. Ducking underneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. Oh no, just a moment later, you feel a sharp pointed object boring into your shoulder. Lips pressed together in pain, you turn back. It's not worth it. You're once again at the entrance. We are going to definitely sleep. <laughs> oh boy, that was not a good idea. That's okay. It happens. It happens. All right. So here we go. We actually have some energy now. Let's go ahead and climb up. It's almost day. All right. So a golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too. Unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical, fully wrapped up in the moment. You regain sanity or warmth. Um, you know, we actually could use a little bit of warmth, so let's use warmth. Now let's head this way. Looks like we have a little treasure chest there. Aha! Hard to see in night. That's okay. Ooh, there is a cave right there, so if we need one. All right, you came across a corrugated metal shipping container. Ooh, that doesn't sound creepy. Covered in rust, it is closed by means of a massive lock. Maybe the occupiers used it as a storage facility. You could try to break it open with a rock. Of course, we're going to try that. You grab a nearby rock, wind up, and whack it the lock with a loud bang. No luck. It remains undamaged. Keep trying. Success! The lock breaks, and you are able to see inside the container. All that effort paid off as you find some valuable equipment. Sweet. Okay, well, we're going to put that cap on. Why we don't already have a warm cap, I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. We are getting a little low on energy. But if maybe we... Yeah, that would work. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and climb up there just to get over there. I'm trying to stick as much as I can to using the caves to sleep that we don't have to worry about it. Oh boy. The branches of a nearby bush are completely covered in spider webs. You take a closer look and notice several spiders vanishing into a hole in the ground. You bend over to inspect their hole. It looks like there's something hidden in there. We're doing it, we're doing it. Spiders skitter over your hands, but they don't hurt you. Your fingertips brush something soft, a cloth bag. You pull it out and discover provisions inside. Awesome, okay, that was totally worth it. All right, so go ahead and continue on your journey, my dear. Keep going. And it looks like that'll be a good place for us to sleep, which is what I was hoping for. Right? So you enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. So we're going to lie and sleep. I wonder if we can oversleep. Like, is that an option? Because I just realized we... Nope, it is not. But we went to, to darkness. Um, It does look like we would have the ability to make it over, like, here. I'm, I'm curious. Okay, I want to do it. I want to do it. What's that? I want to try to get as many of those as I can, just because I find them really interesting. Almost looks like we might be able to get over there. Not sure. Maybe. 